Hey, so in this channel, I've talked about thermal performance a lot. And one thing that I didn't mention before, because my laptop well was new, is dust. Now, dust is the arch enemy of thermal management. As you know, a dusty system will run much hotter than a clean system. And also, dust is quite a good thermal insulator, so it will prevent heat from escaping easily. Cooking your system. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can clean the fans of the HP Omen 15. Uh, this is the 2020 model. Uh, it will be different for other models, so I would suggest you look at other videos for those specifically. But in this case, I'm going to show you how to remove the fans from the laptop itself and you know deep clean them uh, as you as you wish. Now, in my unit does not have too much dust yet, but uh, I'll do it anyway because well, some of you have requested it, and that's also an important issue to talk about. The one downside of removing the fans is that. I'll have to remove the heatsink, which means I have to repaste the laptop again. <sighs> Alright, as you can see we have some dust here on the grill, which can be easily cleaned using a brush or whatever. And now we're going to remove all the screws, which I've already done. I have four longer screws here and four shorter screws here, so make sure not to confuse them, because if you put the longer screw here, you are screwed. As usual, I'll be using this uh, big pen cap to remove or to use as a pry tool be gentle if you can don't want to ruin your laptop all right this is off i can now clean this using a normal normal brush i'll go and find one i have made the return and i have now an glued brush that nobody uses and then i'll be using this to just you know so i'm not too focused on the cleaning bit because in this video i'm just going to show you how to do it yourselves so I'm sure you'll be more thorough than I am, and uh, yeah, yeah. Let's let's just keep going. So the reason why we have to remove the heat sink is because the actual fan header is underneath this part here, uh, unlike this one where this one is here. This one goes underneath the heat sink here, and I believe these two bits also sort of prevent the fan from just coming out. So we'll have to uh, remove the heat sink. Which means I have to repaste this thing again. Oh, I cannot stress this enough. Make sure that you put your um, screws in order so you can remember where to put them back. As you know from the other videos that I've, you have surely seen, uh, these screws don't come out all the way. That's as by design. To remove it, remember you have to remove those two screws as well. Before I continue any further, remember, do not have any static electricity on you, touch something metal, touch the wall or something, just to remove it. And if you can, remove the battery connector. Alright, we can now lift the heatsink. I guess we can take another look at what the paste looks like. I can confidently say that it's not looking great. The wish, I wish I did this better. I'm not sure if I'm tightening too much. I wish there was a bit more paste in the middle, as you can see here. Because I'm getting a lot of paste here, but not here. But this is not about the paste, so that's fine. Uh, this is about them fans here, so let's remove those. So there is one fan header here and one fan header here. Uh, be careful when you lift them. These are quite fragile. Uh, just hold them by the little flaps that are just here. Uh, one, two, three screws. Uh, well, these two are here. And then believe there is no other yeah them too and then it should be able to just lift all right so i'm going to bring the laptop a bit closer so you can see what they look like so this is one of the fan headers right here and this is the other this was hidden underneath the um, actual heatsink which is why we had to remove it and we'll worry about the actual uh you know paste later so i removed one one two two here and hopefully they should just lift up now okay so they won't lift up just yet and that is because there are some hidden ones well it's not exactly hidden this one is available but this one here is hidden underneath this cord here so we'll have to remove that too this connector here by the way you just pull like that it just comes out so it just goes underneath the fan here and then works its way up and there we go the sneaky screw so we can open that and uh, be careful when you lift this one up. It seems that one bit was sort of attached down here. Not that it's important, but uh, yeah, make sure you put this back where it's meant to be. Uh, possibly going through here as well. That's also rather important, you know. 
so yes so yeah this should come off loosely just like that right and this came out with it because it was just stuck here but that's fine you can just gently uh, remove it and that should be fine here as it is so this is the fun this is what it looks like and you can see there is not much dust on this one here but this one here does have a bit more so i'll show you later how to actually open this one up if i figure out how to do it so yeah let's remove the other one too it should be just as easy as lifting it there it is and yeah so the only thing connecting it to the board is just the fan header here which gives it power to actually rotate which is great now i have to remember which way they go and it's easy to remember because this one has the silver bit here and this one has the screwy hidden part here so this is what a module looks like it's pretty cool isn't it very nice all right so the fans have been removed i uh, removed this bit as suggested but i cannot get this back plate off um there are some pieces of plastic i do know i've been trying with it for a bit to try and you know uh, release them but i can't so if you guys know how to do it well that's it's good on you uh just comment it down below so others can do it too but uh please do so only if you can actually put it back together use your common sense to spot out any comments that may be malicious uh, this still gives you access to the vent you know you can still uh, use your uh, air duster to to clean it make sure to hold the fan as you do it because you do not want the fans to sort of uh, start rotating too fast as that wears down the bearing prematurely but that gives you full access sort of and you can clean it you know using a crappy brush or something better if you have something better to to, to clean it with um you can use i believe some isopropyl alcohol on a soft brush and you can sort of go through it i don't need to do it at the moment uh, i might do it on this one because this one is more dusty uh so yeah so this is the fan header make sure that it is intact because without this this will not rotate and this will be useless in your system and yeah so this is how you do it uh, let's just put it back together uh, for those of you who have not watched the beginning of the video uh, all you have to do is just re-watch it in reverse we put this back put this one back too remember the one on the right when these look up when the battery's down here to the right you get the one with the sneaky screw leave it gently so they're now in place they're not moving they each have three screws put them down there's one here there's one here and there's one here same thing with this one we're one here one here and the sneaky one down here next we put this thing back so we root it down here and then below this below this bit down here and then we gently connect it back into here that should be just as easy as pushing it through so now it is pushed through and that should be good so this is the power delivery by the way so you can see uh, that deals with the power delivery so if that is busted that is also a problem next we will do the fan headers so this one goes back in uh, just like so should be as simple as just pushing this down and if it goes it went that's beautiful the last one is here this part here the golden contact face u upwards so this goes in here just like so and then you can push in with your pry tool with your fingers or whatever other instrument you may have or may not have on your body this and this are in all the screws are in so the fans are golden what is not golden is it's this stuff here so yeah i'll just quickly replace this i have two other videos on the channel so i'm not going to focus on this yeah another thing very important before you close it put plug in the battery that's after the repaste um plug the battery back in and hope that you didn't kill your laptop in the process as you always do by the way this tube lasts a long time this is like the fifth repaste i'm doing fifth fourth maybe fourth fourth repaste i'm doing and it's still a ton left this time i'm gonna make sure that all of the actual thermal pads are back in i'll check the lid which for some reason last time there was one on the lid uh but yeah so all of these are back in and that should be good or as good as you can get and hopefully in a few months time hopefully a very long time i will have then have to worry about the dust build up but for now for now this is all we're gonna get now <laughs> the battery Put the thing back on 
And what I will do is before I actually open it up, I want to see if it actually switches on. So the first time it won't. So good thing there is current. First time it won't. Huh, okay. It just it just went. That's that's fine. Alright, laptop is alive, everything's good. Now we just put the screws back in and then Yeah, it's all good. It's not all good. I forgot something vital. Remember these two? They go here and here. Good thing these sort of kept the uh, heatsink from falling out. Always check that you have put all of your screws back. Damn it. You'd think after so many times to do it, I'd remember to check the screws, but no. No, I don't. Moron. I am a moron. You may get confused as to which one goes where. There are two screws on each side, but this one goes on the inside. It's not just something else, the other one is for the actual cover. Ah, one thing I should test is probably the vents, so let's see if they work. Right, both fans are working. Oh yeah, they're definitely rotating. Air is going through. So now we just put the screws back in and this is the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching and if you think you found this useful, consider dropping a like. And if you are a lover of this video, you know, just subscribe, join the community. I have a disco server, which, well, it's not exactly active, but maybe one day it will be, with all the help you can get. Uh, but until then, I'll see you next video, which may take a bit because exam season is by, and I definitely don't want to fail this year. Or any year, per se. So I'll see you guys next time.